Hello. Today, today's trip, we have uh, brought only one knife, sent us from a bee creation in Norway, and uh, we haven't looked at it yet. Well, I really hope it's uh, gonna be a good one. We're gonna pack it out, and uh, all bushcraft activities will be done with one knife only. Very exciting. Let's uh, pack it out, yet. <laughs> yes. I'm sharp. <laughs> oh, wow. that's cool. RWL34 steel. Ooh, nice. Cool scanning grind. Yeah, nice. Ah, oh, that looks like a real nice bushcraft knife. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Very nice. So, let's uh, let's find a spot and uh, check it out. Yes. More on this knife soon. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Shall we go down here? Yeah, let's do that. Look at this place, Tim. Very beautiful. Found this beautiful place, Tim. Oh yes. We've been in the area, but never been here before. No, it was quite a quite a lot downhill. Yeah. So later on, when we have to go back, it's quite a climb, but uh, it worked. And lots of uh, wild boar tracks and ah. uh, digging. Uh, really it'll nice. Will be exciting uh, way back in the <laughs> dark. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. of course. Uh, and uh, it's uh, freezing cold. So we're gonna we're gonna make a fire now, and we start with the batoning. Let's see how the knife performs with that. Huh? Let's start a fire. Let's do that. We haven't uh, but on the biggest pieces yet, but it really works. 3.2 uh, millimeters wide. I think it works. Uh, works good. Okay, time for some uh, making some feather sticks. The knife has a really nice handle. It is uh, quite round, and I think uh, it fits the hand really well. You cannot feel any pressure points. I think that's a good. Uh, that will be that will be helpful with feather sticking. Let's see. It's a very sharp knife. <laughs> nice curve. Very, curse. very sharp. Uh, it gives this nice feeling of a good Scandi bushcraft knife.
no problems to get those really nice thin fine curls and the knife just glides through the wood very easily ah it's really nice ah, this is a bushcrafter Make some really nice thin ones. Curls up Billy, <laughs> really cool. <laughs> really delivers. You can get some really nice fine curls. I think it's an excellent feather sticking. Feather stick. Okay let's build up the big hobo stove. Then we're gonna make some really nice food but first get some warmth. fire <laughs> put this aside we're gonna use a little bit of fat wood today to get the fire started quickly I have my fire still here so we use the knife to scrape a little bit off that's a nice piece Strikes really good, a lot of metal from a ferro rod, so uh, works well with the fire steel. Oh. Sist ble det jo litt for tjokt. Exakt. Så bra! Nå er vi. Ja, den er veldig varm. Snyggt. Mm. Det er jettegod, Karvar. Ja, det er gøtt, ja. Nei, nei, nei. Oi. Det gikk bra. 
Då är det bra. Ja. <laughs> Det är en riktigt bra stopp. Ja, verkligen. Okay. Ja, Det, det kanske är väldigt bra nu. Ja, det går väldigt Ja, det är Då blir det gott. Ja, Det är easy att uh, slå some vegetables and stuff. Next, uh, next time we're gonna check with onions. Yeah. <laughs> Very sharp knife uh, as well, sir. That works. So. Another day in the forest, Tim? Yeah, it was cold, really good food, fun uh, spot we found here. Yeah. So uh, now it's uh, time to climb back home and uh, continue next week. Yeah, so, see you. Welcome to day two. still a lot of snow in the forest and uh, the... on the roads is only ice. It's time to check out some specifications. specifications.
piedras não mandra não vou do velho tal pira né eu não ia brincar né oh tá no tal Hey Tim, yes. can you tell me something about the knife? Uh, it's a knife made by a big creation and uh, it's called uh, the MWRWL. Uh, quite a hard uh, steel. And this guy who makes this knife, because this is number 30, uh, he comes from uh, Telemark, Norway, which is uh, not that far actually from the place we are now. So that's uh, cool. Uh, B creation. He uh, he told us he got inspired by Alan Wood. I think many know Alan Wood like uh, the knife maker who made the knife together with Ray Mears, the the Bushlore. <laughs> cool knife. And also uh, 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 Sandy Jack from Jacklaw knives, which also a very very nice candy bush bushcraft knives. Look at it, and that we can see when we look at this knife. Uh, this steel, we have never tested this steel, Shetta. No, never. It's first for us. Yeah. We don't know many knives that has the steel, isn't it? No, no. We don't know one guy that makes it. And that's Paul Kurtley. Yeah. Paul Kurtley uh, designed the, the PK1 knife, <laughs> and uh, he is using also same steel quite hard 62 rockwell so it's uh but it's really nice um sheet is very nice I, i'm very impressed please go into his uh, insta conto and uh, check him out he has a youtube channel and instagram and uh yeah Please check this dude out, he has a uh, nice talent. Hold on! The devil's sausage. Nice. <laughs> Have some plastic gloves with you <laughs> in the woods. <laughs> uh. When did you get your uh, chef uh, diploma? I never got a <laughs> chef diploma. <laughs> My wife has a chef to It's Ghost Bushcrafters stolen trick of the year. <laughs> Look. <Yeah. laughs> Holy shit. <Yeah. laughs>
Let's yeah. go. Garlic. Det ska ju vara brun. Det så här är det. Cream. Cream. Oh, you can boil for a while. Don't you agree? Yeah. Take one more? Yeah, yeah. we take one more. Silver onions, or yeah. what they call. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at this thing. Nice. It looks like a spicy dish. It looks amazing. Really nice uh, uh, viscosity. I think that uh, will be enough for us for for sure today. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> this is yours, Tim. No, thanks. A little bit more. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Very good. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Let's go. Let's go. That's a uh, powerful food. This. <laughs> I would not recommend this to vegetarians, though. No. Oh. And uh, it's spicy, but uh, not scary spicy. Oh, it's no. Yeah, but uh, you feel the uh, feel the heat. It's a very good general level of spice throughout the dish. Tim, now we have tested the bee creation knife. Do we have a conclusion? I would say so. It's a really nice bushcraft knife. We enjoyed testing this bushcraft knife a lot. The, the handle, and it's very comfortable. Uh, the knife in general is very well handcrafted. It's a good, uh, it's a nice bushcraft knife. We like this kind of style of knives. So we had a lot of uh, joy doing our normal tasks. Uh, good food prepper. We made uh, great food during this episode and uh, besides that it was just a lot of fun to test uh, this knife out in uh, those winter conditions we have here. 
So, um, I think I can say it for both of us, Seattle. Thank you very much, B Creation, for uh, the opportunity to test uh, one of your knives out. Thank you. Uh, test this, well, check this guy out on Instagram and YouTube because uh, this is not the only model he has, he has uh, much more. Um, but uh, thanks again, it was a lot of fun doing it.